And new this morning, a new casino, the state's biggest casino opening in just a few hours from now in the North Bay, expected to bring hundreds of jobs to that area, millions of dollars to that area, and a lot of traffic to go with it all. Crown Force Jackie Sissel is live at the new Grayton Casino in Rohnert Park with more. Hi, Jackie. Good morning, Daria. Yeah, this casino has been in the works for 10 years or so, and there's been a lot of debate back and forth. Well, today's finally the opening day on this massive massive new casino in the North Bay. How big? Well, it's an $800 million project, uh, 340,000 square feet of gaming. When the doors open this morning, this will be one of the largest Indian casinos in the entire country with some 3,000 slot machines and 150 gaming tables. Now, the good news is, is uh, they say that they're going to create about 2,000 jobs here at the casino around there, and most of those are going to be full-time uh, permanent jobs. Now, not only are there casinos, but there are 13 restaurants on board here. The revenue is amazing. There are some reports out there that uh, they could create somewhere in the neighborhood of about $500 million a year in revenue. Now, how much of that will go to the state, the county, and the city of Werner Park? Uh, well, it, actually, over 20 years, there's a $400 million agreement that the casino will pay the state. And and from there, the state will divvy it out to the county of Sonoma and also the city of Roner Park. So lots of, lots of revenue generated. I did have a chance to talk to the general manager of the casino this morning. He talks about that massive revenue. For a long time, the tribe has worked hard with many of the community partners, whether it be the county of Sonoma, whether it be the city of Ronard Park, and the tribe has done the things necessary to be a great business partner. There are commitments for millions upon millions of dollars to be shared with the local communities, again, whether it be the county, whether it be the city, and an awful lot of it is meant for parks and preservation of natural spaces. I think the Federated Indians of Great and Ranch have done exactly the right thing to be a great partner in the community. And the Great Narancheria Indian Tribe, they're the, basically the owners of it, uh, station properties, uh, casinos. They are the ones that are operating the casino. Now, as far as people, when the doors open this morning, they expect to see thousands of people pour into this casino. Traffic may be an issue. In fact, CHP is already warning people to be aware that they can anticipate upwards of 10,000 additional cars in the area today and for the first couple days as the casino opens. So be aware of that. Daria, this place is huge. As I said, 340,000 square feet. This thing is as big as any uh, casino that you would see in Las Vegas. Uh, it's big and they're getting ready to open the doors. Yeah, I mean, you got to picture it kind of like the attraction of a mall, right, opening. And then, two, you don't know, like with a mall, you know, open nine to five. I think this place is going to be hard, Jackie, because we're going to have to see, well, when does the most, you know, when are the most traffic times? In the morning? Maybe not. Maybe, you know, after afternoon, night, late at night? Well, yeah, it's a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week, 365-day-a-year uh, casino. This place is going to be open all the time. It's unclear exactly, obviously, as you said, how, how the traffic flow is going to go. It presumably, it would be more in the evening than anything else. But yeah. uh, as I said, CHP is already warning people, be aware that specifically around that 101 interchange here in Runner Park, that traffic may be an issue. All right. Thanks a lot, Jackie. James.